Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, it's quite late at night, but um, my wonderful subscriber Kevin sent me these Arteza 24 metallic colour water paints as a gift. And I had gone to bed and I'm laying there thinking, oh, watching colouring videos, I want to go and play. So here we are. So what I thought we'd do is um, have a look. There's only 24 colours, so we'll swatch them with the card provided. And then I want to have a go at kind of doing a mismatch of the blue colours in it, blues and maybe greens, to do a background in um, Mermaids in Paradise by Denise Klett. So this is the box that it comes in. Um, 24 watercolours, they're premium ones. Let me lift it up. They're half pans, come in a metal box and they're semi-moist. And it says they're reusable when dried on a palette. Non-toxic. These are the colours you get. Um, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Kevin. I have thanked him. So inside the box, I took it out before I started because my hands don't always work. Inside the box is your palette. And then, with it... <coughs> comes oh, an Arteza water brush. Um, it's got the name on it. It's not a fine one. It's quite a thick one. But it does feel really good. I haven't tried um, Arteza water brushes yet. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to save that. <clears throat> and then let's get down to it. So if I bring you in a little closer... Here we go. This is the tin. On the back it's got the little thumb loop. You need to put your hand, your th finger or your thumb through to hold it if you're out and about. The tin is really nice, nice black, glossy one. If I can get my hands to open it. This is what it looks like. So these are our swatch cards and then this little tray opens out. And look at all these little treasures. Brand new watercolours like this always remind me of a little, we can see the colours there, look. Little sweeties, all so exciting, like when you were a child. So, there's all the colours. What I'm going to do is pause the camera, unwrap them and get them ready. And then we're going to swatch them. I'm just going to do it on white in this instance. <coughs> um, on camera. Otherwise it will be too long. We don't want to do it 48 times. But what I will do is do it on the black and show you at the end of the video. So, bear with me for two seconds. I will unwrap these gorgeous, delicious colours. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, as you can see... Oh, look at the deliciousness. So, they're really well fitted in there. And this little insert comes out. So, I'm just going to put that back in. It just made it easier for me to get the um, paints out. But let me lift you up. Look at this one. And look at this one. This is iridescent... What is it? Iridescent pink, yeah. Iridescent pink. I don't know if you can pick up on that. And this one is iridescent green. I don't know if you're getting that. But oh, I'm, So, anyway. I've got my little Derwent brush because it's the one I've got water in. And we're going to have a look at swatching these colours. So, I'm going to try and get you, I'm going to move the paint palette out of the way for a minute and come in so you can see, let me put it to the side of me, let's see if I can do it and get them in the right order. <laughs> so, little Derwent brush, making sure it's got water on it, and I don't know if I should have sprayed them, I don't think so, no, there we go, it's coming. To get my brush moving. Ooh. Oh, you wait till you see. Oh. oh, look at that. So that is diamond white. Can you pick that up? Might have to wait till it dries, but it's a gorgeous um, silvery. There is a little bug flying around if you can pick it up on camera. It's been a scorching day here in the UK today. So this is lemon yellow. Put a bit 
No. Ooh. Yeah, so I've got my window open. So of course, because I've got the light on, every little bug in Christendom comes in. Okay, let's move in a little bit more. So gold. So I'm just rubbing my little water brush in the pan, getting it moving. Too much water. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. And even without letting them dry, can you see the shine? Okay, Aztec gold. I'm just wondering if I should just... I'm just spritzing a tiny bit of water in them so that by the time we get there they're all activated and yummy. Okay, so Aztec gold. This is a lovely colour. Look at this one. Ready? Oh, that's beautiful. These are really lovely, Kevin. Thank you so, so much. Okay, what's this one? This is... Just check I've got it right. One, two, three, four, five. Copper. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I was just checking. Oh my goodness. Aren't they lovely? <coughs> you can still see the water, but there is a gorgeous shimmer to them already. It's cleaning my brush off. Okay, so. Glowing peach. Ooh. Oh, they're so pretty. It's a shame. I'm, I know we have to swatch because you want to know what colours you've got. But it's a shame, they're so beautiful, it is a shame that I'm having to take them off my off my um, brush. Oh, that is gorgeous. You know what I'm like for pink? I love pink. So this is ballerina pink. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I've got water left. Okay, what's the next one? Watermelon pink. Just want to check I've got it right. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, that's a gorgeous pink. Uh, isn't that pretty? Oh, these are so exciting. And then I thought we'll test them. So I'm going to have to move everything over. Cherry blossom pink. One, two, three, four. I'm just checking. Ooh, all these pinks are absolutely out of this world. Look at that doing that again just because oh lovely so we will get to testing them out in um, Denise Kletz but right so this is the one that I was showing you at the beginning that I was quite excited about and this is iridescent pink so let's have a look hang on Mix it up a bit more. There we go. So we might have to wait for that to dry to be able to see the full effect. But I love that. Look at that softness of that colour. Okay. 
orchid purple. Beautiful. They've got a lovely shimmer to them. This one, which is, well, they're, they're much better. I haven't been sat with a bit of water on them. Lilac. So there's a little tip. Just squirt a bit of water on them. Okay, right. Then we've got this row, which is plum purple. Uh, it's hugely different people. I haven't done them justice. I will Yeah, just a little spritz of water. I, that, that little tiny spritz of water that I put on them has made all the difference. Oh my god, look at that colour. That is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. I'm going to go back over those ones when they've been sat. This is sky blue. Oh man, they're so lovely. This is frosty blue. Oh, I can hardly wait to put these on a page and look at them. Um, okay, now we've got Cactus Green. That's gorgeous too. We'll go very well with those for water. That's what I'm thinking. And we've got Jungle Green. Lovely. Isn't that pretty colour? Okay, I'm going to spritz those early ones that we did. Just let a tiny drop of water sit in them. Yeah. And then we'll go back to them. Okay, so iridescent green. Oh, oh they're so creamy once they've been sat with a bit of water. That is stunning. Love that colour. Okay, then we've got lettuce green, and then we're nearly there. That's beautiful too. Oh my god, they're lovely. All right, okay, then we've got lime green. Oh, that obviously didn't get spritzed. So if you do have these paints, I would recommend dropping a little water on them and just letting them sit for a minute. Oh look. That's beautiful. They all are incredibly beautiful colours. Okay, bronze. Colour. Then we've got silver. I'm excited to see this one. Beautiful. And then I'll show you my piece of kitchen towel in a minute. And then this is Mars Black. So this is like a grey, blue grey. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that one? 
very good black. It's like a bluey grey colour. Okay, I'm just going to quickly make sure my brush is clean. I'm just going to quickly, now I've spritzed them and let them sit, I'm just going to go back over these. I just, I want to make sure I do them justice. So this is lemon yellow. That's so much better, look at that. That's, that's just the difference with letting them sit for a few minutes with a tiny drop of water on them. Gold. Yeah, much, much better. Copper. One, two, one, two three, four. I'm getting paranoid that I'm going to put them on the wrong thing. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Okay, and I want to redo the glowing peach. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, and we're going to try it. The last one I want to redo is the iridescent pink. Beautiful. Look at the shimmer on this. <laughs> A bit of kitchen towel. Right, let me come out. Look at that. Obviously we've got to let them dry. <coughs> Excuse me. But look at that. Silver's brilliant. It's really good silver. And I am loving the blues and greens. So, I'll let that put that aside for a second to dry. I'll swatch the black ones out off camera and show you what they look like on black. But I wanted to have a go at just sort of blotting them on a page, a bit like I did my moon, with these blues and possibly that cactus green. So, Let's have a go. What have we got? We've got, let's try the powder blue. Can you see the shine on them? Gosh, they're amazing. Okay, so powder blue. Right, where am I going to go? Under her. I'm going to go straight over those bubbles. And I'll go around them in white um, with a white gel pen. This probably will look a hot mess, but it's got to try. Got to, I had to play. There was no good trying to go to sleep and go to bed when I've got my teaser of watercolours to play with. So I'm going to put my plastic sheet underneath and I'm just going to do that the darker of the blues around her there. This paper isn't much like liking um, watercolour. So now I'm trying sky blue I'm just going to push those two in together. We'll just see what happens. I'll put a bit of green in too in a minute. Okay, we're going to put, our, this one is, which one's this? Frosty blue. Okay, gorgeous. Look at that. Look at 
the paper is soaking up the water very quickly. can always go back over when this has initially dried and then we can play and put more on. So I just wanted to say um, a big thank you. I haven't managed to answer comments yet. I've been quite busy. Um, but I wanted to say a big thank you to all your support for my last video. <coughs> and um, about the the thumbs down incidents <coughs> I think we might put a bit of this cactus green in you know I'll bring that up here dot a bit about that about A really pretty colour and we'll just get that kind of mishmash of colours going. That's lovely. Love that colour. Look at that. You probably can't pick up on that yet because it's still wet, but it's looking really beautiful. So going back in with the darker blue, which is powder blue. The paper is just kind of like <laughs> as soon as you put water on it. <coughs> That's okay. So I'm just gonna. I'm doing random areas now. I'm going to go in with the next light colour, which is sky blue. I can put that in. Beautiful colours. Then. Oh, still a bit more sky blue. Oh, this is frosty blue now. I love them. They are gorgeous. I'm going to splat in that lettuce green because it works so well with those blues. Get rid of that line. Isn't that cool? Effortless water, people. Effortless water. Uh, I hope you can pick up on the colour. So I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep mixing the dark um, powder blue. sort of blend it out a bit. Bugs. Pain. Right, then in with the uh, sky blue. green really lifts it, doesn't it, that lettuce. Really annoying, they're like the little midgy things. Okay, um, in with 
what's this one? Frosty blue. Do that down here. Then we'll drop that lettuce green in it. More of that lettuce green in here. Just smush them all in. <laughs> Smushing is a good technique. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Right, so I'm going in. Oh, my water brush is empty. Hang on. Uh, to switch to my old one to switch to this water brush because it's the only other one but it's it's old but that's okay old and well loved the dark blue in there I might actually be able to get some sleep now, now I've played. Do you ever do that? Are you ever um, getting new supplies and like, think right I'll get up early and play with those and then not have to get up and do it? <laughs> or is it just me that's gone, <laughs> that's gone colouring supply crazy? blue up there and I won't lighten the colour so I'm probably going to start taking out the um, going to start taking out the dark blue now like I said I'll go over <coughs> the bubbles with a um, white gel pen so I'm going to take out the dark blue now and I'm just going to drop in random patches I think that's going to be my favourite colour. Drop that in. Just so we can get lighter as we go to the top of the page. I'll have to um, let it dry. And I'll swatch them on on the black paper and then be able to show you when it's dry what it looks like how they've performed which already I'm in love with their shimmer is amazing I'm put some of that drop some of that blue in It's beginning to dry down the bottom there, so we'll get an idea shortly. Doesn't matter too much if I've gone over her tail or gone over parts. I didn't want to get her face, which I seem to have avoided. 
because um, I'm going to do pencil over. So in my haste to clean it up, I've just smudged it and made it worse. <laughs> it's good fun, it's such good fun. Okay, I just want to get the water done with you. We've got a little bit under a bum here. So I'm dropping that lattice in. I'm going to put in the, this one is frost blue, I think. Is this, that no, stops there, that's our hair. There we go. I was about to ask you then what you thought, what it was, like you could answer me. <laughs> beautiful drop some of that in hope it dries okay because it looks brilliant at the moment to me anyway I couldn't think of a better way to test them out and I've been desperate to try this technique to see if it works um, like to give us a watery a watery sea, not waves but water and I just hope now that my gel pens will go over and they should do it so that I can bring the bubbles out in white or a different colour. Totally brilliant. So I won't do the whole picture on camera with you, I just wanted to try out these gorgeous colours um, and just do something a bit different just other than swatching what do you think what that is so I've really loaded this paper Soaking wet. I'm just looking for any areas that. I don't want it, so I'm going to put some dark over it. Any areas that might need a bit more colour. That lettuce is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I forgot round here. We're nearly there, and then I'll let it dry and I will go off camera, swatch them on the black so you can see them. 
and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's dry and how shimmery they are. So we'll do the shimmer test. <laughs> using it was on my brush. Alright. Okay, there we are. One a very shiny, shimmery page. I love it. Right, we'll put that to one side and let it dry. And I will be back when it's dry with the black swatch card done so you can see them on that too. See you in a second. Okay, so it's just adjust you a little bit. It's all dry. I hope you can see it's that shiny. Let me, I've drawn the bubbles on just to show you that my um, Arteza gel pen went over it perfectly. But look at that shine. Isn't that incredible? So I will finish this page off camera, but um, I just wanted to give you a quick demo of our glorious Arteza watercolour paints. So and I did swatch them on black. So here's the white. Oh, they're so lovely. And here's them on black. Oh, they are just magic. They really are. They're so beautiful. Um, I'm thrilled to bits with them, Kevin. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Um, they will no doubt feature heavily in a lot of my colouring books and our videos to come. I'm just trying to squash them back in. So there we are, the 24 Arteza metallic watercolour paints and I am over the moon with them. Alright folks, thank you so so much for watching. I've really enjoyed playing and messing about with these paints. I hope you've enjoyed a little different swatching video um, and I'll catch you in the next couple of days. So until I see you then, take really good care of yourselves. Night night. <laughs>